so in quarantine but i thought you know i might share this little tip with uh other people that have problems with their deep mattresses with the sheets staying on once you usually your the top of your mattress the sheet is the ones without the tag uh, on the inside down here so if it's tagged they're usually the bottom left corner unless it's something crazy but <clears throat> anyway this is a top part of my sheet and if you'll see here there's the seam and when you stretch it out I go about nine inches and if you've got a uh, snaps you got a snap here and on nine inches here and so what I do you can use regular elastic I use one inch um, this was just some I had on hand if you can't find some like this let me know um, I'll ship you some it, probably 50 cents plus shipping uh, I think I got 2,000 yards or something like this from doing diapers but anyway um, I add a snap here this is 15 inches and like I said on here this was here's your seam right right here and once stretched out it's I put the snap nine inches from that seam on each side and so then when you get through washing just snap and when you put it on the bed pull it this will go under the mattress like this and then snap this side holds it in place never comes out and I do two of them one for each side of the top of the bed I don't put snaps on the bottom one never have a problem with the bottom coming out um, if the top stays still the bottom will so I mean you could put them on the bottom too if you need to but to me it was just a waste I've I've done this now for two years and these are my flannel sheets I'm about to put my my good 1200 count um, Egyptian cotton sheets back on since it's gotten warm but um, just thought I'd give you a little tip on that thought that would help some people I take these off when I wash because they've never touched body so they're under the mattress so I really don't think that there's a need to to wash them and and mess up the elasticity so even if your fitted sheet has lost its, its elasticity this will work so I thought I'd post that and you know a little trick you can get um snap setters at Walmart or anywhere else I have a heavy duty commercial grade one but um uh, I put it on anything like that that I, I need and if you have bra straps that don't want to stay up you can um, you can make something similar to this I usually use a I think it's a six inch piece and you'd put um, this is a female you would put one of the male ones like this um, right about here and then you put it on your your bra strap here put it over like this and then do this thing. I think I do a six inch piece and it would be like here and put it on your back and it'll keep your straps from falling down you know it's big chested women we have that issue but anyway just a couple little tricks there that you can use with your snap machine thanks